Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today I'm going to show you how to get fat tones out of the Moog Grandmother. Let's go. Alright, so first things first. In order to get a fat sound, you have to use two oscillators. You have to take advantage of the fact that the Grandmother has two oscillators. And keep in mind, you can do this on any synth that has two oscillators. So, your envelope, you want your attack, decay, and release all the way to the bottom. It doesn't have to be there, but that's where we're going to set it for these purposes. You want your sustain all the way up. So, the first big trick to make, to make your bass sound as fat as possible is you actually want to take your frequency, you want to detune your second oscillator. Now, right now, I have both waveforms set to square. You can have both wave... Uh, you know, waveforms set to different waveforms if you want, but uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to use both square. So, if you play, if you press sync, sounds kind of flat. You know, it's not not really that fat. So you want sync to be off. What you actually want to do is take your frequency knob and turn it down or up just a little bit above or below the zero mark. Now where the fatness comes from is the fact that one of them is actually detuned from the other so the waveforms aren't exactly on the same pitch that's what gives it its fat sound. And you'll be able to hear it here. I'm going to turn the, the frequency down as far as it goes just to kind of illustrate what it sounds like. Now, if you play guitar, you might be familiar with that sound from, you know, when you're tuning your strings. But uh, what you want to do is turn it down. I, I like to detune it. Um, and what you're doing is you're detuning it basically somewhere between a unison and a half step. So it's, it's very microtonal is what they call it. So listen carefully. Headphones are best for this. So as you can see, it sounds much fatter, much fuller. This is what it sounds like when they're both synced. This is what it sounds like when one of them is detuned. So that's the best way to get a fat sound. If you want to mess with it even further, try changing one of the waveforms. So I have the first oscillator set to square. I'll change this one to triangle. Maybe sawtooth. sounds pretty cool. I like the I like oscillator one on the square and uh, oscillator two on the triangle. That one sounds pretty cool to me. But see the point the point of a synth is it's it's so much like personal taste. You know like this detune thing is is pretty uh, pretty common. But uh, you know how people use it is definitely a uh, uh, personality thing. You know. And if you want to make things really crazy, turn your oscillators up all the way to get some of that analog distortion. But yeah, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, that's the easiest way to get started uh, making some fat tones. You know, take advantage of the two oscillators. Make sure one is detuned a little bit. Set your waveforms different. You know, that's pretty much it. I will be doing more of these Moog videos, so feel free to leave a like if you liked this video, if you got value out of it. And subscribe if you want more of these Moog videos because it seems to me that the Moog Grandmother is probably one of the best entry-level Moogs that you can get into. Um, and the great thing about uh, these videos, like the, the detune thing, you know, that stuff is universal. You can use it on any different synth. Anything that has two oscillators at least. But uh, stay tuned for more of these Moog videos and I'll see you next time.